Okay, um, you know, kind of how our year's been. We just keep getting adversity thrown at us. I thought the guys really battled. I thought we battled the other day. We had 15 offensive rebounds against Monmouth. We just, for whatever reason, didn't dribble and pass well enough to win. Uh, and you come to today's game and we have 16 offensive rebounds. You can't get those if you're not playing as hard as you can play. It's impossible to offensive rebound if you don't go after the ball. So I thought we played super hard, uh, and, uh, you know, we made some big shots uh, late. Tanaj had a couple big threes for us that got us some – kind of put the nail in the coffin. But I thought both these guys – Fitz was awesome. So it was, a, it was a big win for us. We needed it. We needed it. Guy's been working, though. If you came to practice yesterday or the day before, you'd have no idea – uh, that we hadn't won much the last few weeks. I mean, the attitudes have been a 10. The effort's been a 10 in practice. So we just got to stick with, you know, what we're doing and hopefully today give us a little confidence. Uh, Coach Chris Walker after the game. Thanks. Uh, came out a little sluggish uh, at the start of the game, but we were able to uh, erase the coaching sequence for the second half of the game. Uh, can you tell me kind of some, were there any adjustments you made that uh, enabled you to get another win? Well, um, you know, we, we didn't do much different than what we started doing. We, we did get away from some of the post-up stuff uh, with Frankie and Tyler. That's kind of how we came out and started. And I thought both those guys got pretty good looks and just, you know, missed some shots that they typically make. Uh, defensively, um, you know, we subbed in a little bit and uh, didn't get – dialed in uh, defensively with, with, with some guys off the bench. And so we went back with some other guys and uh, I thought the defense picked back up. So it, it wasn't anything strategic. We didn't change philosophically what we were doing much. Um, it was a little bit just personnel related and got a little better combination out there. They, they're a fast athletic team. So we, we wanted as much speed as we could get out there. And, and you know, we only have three guards. So we, we ran three guard lineup some, which gave us you know, not really a perimeter sub over there, but I, I thought the speed we were able to interject helped us today uh, against their their speed. And you made some changes to the starting lineup today. Uh, Ross Mays to start, uh, Tanai started, Chris didn't have any while. Um, was there uh, any reasons for that? I mean, how do you uh, compare to that? Yeah, listen, I, I think it helped us. I thought, uh, I thought Fitz had his best game in a while, and it wasn't anything. I think he came out with a mentality he wasn't going to be denied. He was super aggressive. I think he always plays hard. I, I don't ever question his effort. I mean, you watch film, Fitz always gives good effort. I was just trying to light a fire a little bit with him, to be honest, and obviously it was effective. Um, and, uh, you know, I thought Tanaj defensively would, would, would give us a lift, and he did. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, look, at this point, we haven't played very well. We haven't won very much the last few weeks. And I'll be honest with you, I mean, it's pretty simple. We're, we're, without Tyler, we really struggle. We, he's the only wing on our roster. So if you take the only wing you have off the roster, what you're left with is three small guards and five guys that played center on whatever team they were on last year. I mean, there's no wing, so it doesn't fit very well. We, we, we need Tyler because he's a heck of a player. But you also have to have somebody connecting you know, the offense and the defense, who's a traditional wing. And um, so, you know, he, he was out, and we were really bad without him uh, for a couple games. And then he came back, and I and, uh, thought he was really good in the second half. And, and But in the first half of that game, he wasn't really in much rhythm because he only practiced one day. So, uh, you know, he, he's a big key for us, uh, just like everybody. I mean, when you got eight guys, they all got to be at their best. So super happy we won. I mean, we didn't have Sarvin, which, you know, a guy playing 28 minutes or 26 minutes a game where he plays is, is another big – hole to fill, but uh, I thought Rocco gave us good minutes. I thought Leon Nahar in the first half was awesome, um, you know, for a freshman who's who's given away some some body weight and strength out there. So I, I thought that, that we got good lifts where we really needed them. And uh, obviously you know, Tyler on the floor again, he didn't have a floor from the break, uh, but he came back. Uh, you know, what is it like having a guy like that that, uh, you know, looks like his energy really gets the team through the win? Yeah, listen, Tyler's a huge key for us. I think there's, um, you know, there's been a lot of guys that have that have sucked it up and, and played hurt. I mean, you know, Sarvin's got something that's going to require surgery after the year. He's played all season. It's the first game he's needed to sit out because it, it got to a point where he needs to calm down. Um, and uh, so, you know, Tyler's not the only guy who's um, – been you know able to go through injury now his was a little scarier I mean I've, like I said last time I mean, I've never 30 years of this I've never seen a guy taken off the court on a stretcher on our team or the opponent so it's not something happens in basketball very often I, I mean I, I hope it never happens in our arena uh, but you know that's scary stuff and um, uh, you know but I think he was 
he was big. He was big. And it, it, statistically, it's not a good ball game for him and up to what he usually gives us, and that's why other guys have to step up. But we need him out there because we need, we need that – you know, big athletic wing that can rebound a little bit and defend a little bit and make a shot and make a play for another guy. So, so you know, him being out there really helped us, obviously. Are you worried about Christian Kelly on the Yeah, day to day. We're hoping he's, you know, we're hoping we have him next week. But, um, you know, like I said, just the thing needs to calm down a little bit. So hopefully, you know, but it's just a quick turnaround. I'm sure he'll be playing by the end of next week. I don't know, you know, short, short term Monday. Um, I think like going into the game, like I think that sometimes players think like, oh, you have to feel good in order to play well. But I was like, you know what? I'm just going to be decisive, just try to flow, uh, attack the game, you know, um, going into it, you know, trust the preparation that we do in practice every day. Um, and I think that helped a lot. Um, just trying to be assertive and decisive, but without, it's like a, there's like a balance to it to try not to be like way over the top, like I think we were in practice yesterday and I think I was going a little, a little way over the top in terms of energy. So like, it was like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like I, I always think like, it's like, so there's some balance and, and I know I was thinking about, um, what was the game, Hampton, I came out yep. in the second half and I was like, you know what, I'd rather do too much than too little and I might have done too much. <laughs> and I was trying to, I've been trying to find that balance between the two, kind of like that yin and yang. <laughs> And uh, I think I did a, a better job of finding that today. For sure. And uh, it was the first time so far this season that you've came off the bench. Uh, but it seemed as though you, you didn't mind. Uh, you were you know, trying to, to hype up the team as much as you can uh, as things crept in. Uh, you know, what, is it, what do you feel like that energy brings to the team? Energy is contagious. Um, I think that we feed off of each other's energy. I think that when like body language gets sort of forward, things like that, and people get down, then it's, it's something to overcome. But when we have really good body language and energy and effort, it's contagious and it's also intimidating to other teams when you know we're all together and locked in and um, playing like that. Um, it's, it's, it's essential, and I think that we had that. And Tanaj, uh, you came up uh, clutch in this game. Uh, you had the, the two threes in the corner from uh, both of the, the guys coming in, and then you uh, secured the rebound. <laughs> um, you know, coming up in the clutch, that's something that you've done that you proved you're good at this season. Uh, you know, do you feel like you do you thrive when the lights are brightest? Um, honestly, I feel like it's no different from a clutch moment and just a regular moment. I feel like we always got to stay ready, and my father always says, "Stay ready, so we don't got to get ready." So, mm. honestly, it's like it's no different. Uh, we prepare every day in practice, and I just go hard, and we challenge each other. And so when the moment comes, I feel like not just me, but all of our guys are ready. And you were very important on both ends of the floor tonight. Uh, how do you feel about your individual performance overall? Um, I feel I feel good. Um, I know I have to set the tone defensively. Uh, I feel like I got to be that, that be that guy, be that spark defensively, you know, get guys going, you know, take charges or stop the ball. Um, so overall, I was – I was really pleased with my performance um, offensively, you know, just making the right plays, being confident, uh, trusting my teammates, and just doing a really good job. All right, thanks. Have a good Thank night. You.